going to be the new rudder for my outboard engine. Well, there we go. I'll put it together. It goes together like that. A few bolts look. It says on the um, website aluminium. So it should be how sure it goes on. I think it goes on, it goes round the engine like that, that bit dangles. Just to give you extra better steering, that's why I got it. Right, we're putting a rudder on the engine today. I need, I've nearly done it actually, I forgot to film. But I'll show you what I've been doing in case you ever tried to put one on. I've put mine underneath the plate. put you anywhere so you can watch me finish doing it um, see if you can see it that put a bit of rubber tire behind it and there's cut, a, a tire has been cut just the tread part to go behind stop it from uh, after yesterday's fiasco I think I need a rudder okay. yes Right, How tight do you go, mate? Well, you ain't gonna do any harm because the you know the alloy that you got there, yeah, is nice and soft. And the tighter you've got it, in your case, I would say, is a good thing, mate, because because it ain't touching the bottom. It's something else that's lower than the rudder. And that's coming so from. You did, you did, you know, Tom's a teacher. When, when you've got it, when it feels really tight, you know. Uh, still going? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean when you when you grab hold of the wood and see if it can move, you know. Oh yeah. Well, you don't try too hard, it will move and then you've got to start again. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's, but when do you know? When do you know, Tom? Well, you just... <laughs> the yeah. one that's going to be making all the difference is the one you're putting on now. Yeah. Now I didn't have one there, I couldn't get one to fit there because as you can see, yeah. mine was down on the cavitation plate six inches lower than that. I didn't put it on this one. There's more, more metal for the clamp to go on. Yeah. So you've it, got that one really tight there. Yeah, so if you put it on this top one, there's a chance that it'll kick up. If you put it I on the top of this too. one, it'll kick up. So underneath it should just hit against this plate yeah. with a bit of luck. Well, that one, I say, that one you're doing now is the one that's going to be pinching it up tight. Crucial. And all the back ones doing is taking some of the weight off it, you know. Yeah. Eventually, it'll just keep going and, and pull it around, pull it, pull it around where you want it, you know. But that, that must be pretty tight there now. Yeah. It, it won't go up and down, will it? Well, it, I'd, I'd, it I'd would. It, that. it would with a push. Well, I, I'd say, I'd say, I'll leave it at that. I'll just give a couple more turns. And just a couple more turns, Tom. <laughs> Oh, that's got a bit more to give, isn't it? Yeah. No. Oh, it's getting that tight, that's it. Now see if that one, you've got your hand on, I'll let you do another one. Yeah. Yeah, that's resisting now, and it's actually up to the bend, isn't it? So it's pulled right up tight. Oh, mate, I'll stick it in, I can see it bending. Oh, it's tight up this side as well. That's it. Oh, I think you've got it there, man. You think so? And it's dead. Oh, look at that. It's dead level, going right down the centre of the propeller boss. So it's, uh, do you know what I mean? It's it, it not. It's, if it's a bit sideways, the steering's going to be off all the time. Yeah. That's all right. You just have a different place. It's in the middle, you know. Looks good, that mate. Oh, thank thank you. you for the help again. That's all right. That's all right. It's, co it's cobbled together, but it's, it, 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 it's a cobbled together type of rudder. Yeah. You can spend two hundred quid and have one like Ed's. Yeah. Yeah. You know, which is a. You can spend two hundred quid and have one really, that fits. Yeah. You can have two. Super spend two hundred quid. Yeah. No. Th this fits onto there. there. It bolts on the same as yours does, but it's an amazing piece of kit. But they're really expensive. Yeah, well, for a cheap bit of kit. That's all right. There you go, that tight. You should be able to just work that one backwards or forwards, try it. Now push it back without taking it off. 
Yeah. Right, leave it on. Now just push it back. Push what back? Put the, push the spanner back. Yeah, go again. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a ratchet. How about that? I borrowed a toy. A lot like quicker. <laughs> They're going to be touching in a minute. See you know what I mean? How tight do you go? Can't get much tighter than touching, can you? I mean, look at that. That's touching. Look at this one. So we're just tightening this one and then that one. Yeah, see. Yeah, I'll put a lock, lock and nut on all of them. I think this will all regret it. This is just for safety. Lock that against that. I'm scared to do it too tight. I don't want to be stripping the nuts. But how tight you go, I think. I think that's it with this rubber. This is the weakest link, that's out of a bed frame. Just put locking nuts on mate. Two two nuts. Yeah, yeah. And for this one, because it's a bed, I'm not that special about that. I, I found uh, after they've been under the water a bit, yeah. you get uh, a little layer of, uh, the only way I can describe it is like scale on the inside of a kettle. Yeah. And the nuts won't come off then without a spanner. No. So they don't loosen, you know, they, it's just, it's just, it's, no, they moved, don't. it's moved because it can move and it's not, it's not gripping in enough places all the way around. Uh -huh. You've got that really well, well in contact all the way around, I reckon. I think so, especially with this as well. I think this yeah. bit of, yeah. it, what is it, a bit of tyre, bit of tyre. You get. Yeah, I've got iron to my mind. Seems to well uh, put that there, just tighten that a little bit. That's it, we're done then. Maybe another one on that. I can't do it no better than that, so if it comes off. If it comes off, it's a bad design. We'll have an update, I dare say, at some point we it'll have to come out. Well, you heard him then say, once they've been under the water, I suppose they crud together a bit. But it should be more manageable on the water to, to drive. Pretty tight now. Done. The end of that. I hope you caught it. It was a nightmare. Let's put it back in the water. Yeah, I forgot how to do it. Right, you've got to come all the way back up again, and then all the way down without losing uh, without losing the lever. I think, if I remember right. Oh. Put, put, when you get it up, try. I think you leave the lever in the, that position. There you go. See. I'm forgetting there, it's me. It. No, it's lifting. It's what? Put it back in. Put it back again. That's oh, it. That's, better. that's it. We're doing. I tell you, you've got to watch your rudder on your tyre. Is it close? I can't see. Not at the moment, but I mean, I don't think, actually, I don't think it's not that far enough to push it. 